again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 19th of February, 2019. Article posted on Fox News was posted on the 19th of February, 2019. Title, Trump not mentally well should be removed under 25th Amendment, former Bush ethics attorney says. This is written by Ryan Gatos, as G-A-Y-D-O-S of Fox News. So I assume that this uh, ethics attorney was in Bush, George W. Bush's administration. You think he was there during the takedown of the Twin Towers? Huh? <laughs> Take a look at his video. It's 42 seconds duration. He's got the same kind of face Half of his face looks different than the other half, like the Amazon CEO, Jeff Bezos. President Donald Trump is not well at all mentally, and Congress needs to remove him under the 25th Amendment. Former President George W. Bush's chief ethics attorney, Richard Painter, said Monday. Yeah, so he was in George W. Bush's administration. huh? You know who else was in George W. Bush administration? Chow, the wife of the senior Republican senator, Mitch McConnell. She's another one of those uh, swamp critters. She was actually in, in two previous administrations, and now she's in Trump's uh, Secretary of Transportation. Huh? Anyway, I digress. Painter speaking on MSNBC, the 11th hour with Brian Williams, accused Trump of throwing a hissy fit after Congress didn't give him the five billion he initially requested for the wall and instead declared a national emergency along the U.S. southern border with Mexico. This is a national emergency that really wasn't an emergency according to Trump's own words. Painter, whose dumpster fire ad during his failed U.S. Senate bid was widely mocked, called Trump's actions illegal. I think we need to understand, though, why we're in this situation. The president is not well at all mentally. I think he's an extreme narcissist, and he's been denied what he wants, his wall. And he is having a hissy fit. He is out of control, and he will not take no for an answer from Congress. And he's going to do this, Painter said. Well, you got to remember that Trump's not used to having anybody say no to him all of his life. Quote, he's not, he is going to insist on doing, he is going to tear the country apart. It's unconstitutional. It's illegal. He is going to do erroneous damage to the Republican Party, which is going to split right down the middle over this. And we really need to keep in mind that this is because the president is not well he added. Actually, I think he is well. I think that he was designed for the role that he's in to do exactly what he's done. He is going to do enormous damage to the Republican Party. Folks. Wake up. Painter then asserted that because Trump allegedly believes Russian President Vladimir Putin over his own intelligence agencies makes him unwell and unfit for the office of president. Well, I totally disagree with that. The fact is that he can't trust his own intelligence agency. The CIA? The FBI? Huh? You gotta be shitting me. NSA? They're all corrupt criminal organizations. Quote, he is not capable of doing the job. He does need to be removed under the 25th Amendment. But he stocked his cabinet with people who are unwilling to do that. Well, actually, he stocked his cabinet with swamp critters, and they are willing to do that. And Congress is apparently unwilling to even try to remove him through the impeachment, he said. Trump on Friday declared a national emergency to complete construction of his multi-billion dollar along the U.S.-Mexican border. Complete construction? Huh? What are you talking about complete construction? It's like two or three years away from being completed, if it ever moves forward. 
Congress approved less than 1.4 billion in a budget deal for just 55 miles of new barrier fencing. A senior administration official told Fox News that the White House plans to move 8 billion in currently approved or available funds toward construction of the wall. Folks, the wall is distract, divert, to deceive. The move is expected to face a swift and forceful legal challenge that could stall the attempt in the courts for the near future. But the declaration and other money-moving plan allows Trump to continue to fight for border wall construction while also averting another partial government shutdown. <sighs> Come on, folks. This whole thing is just a big, big kabuko show. It's all it is. Distract, divert, to deceive. Trump's done what he set out to do, which is to destroy the Republican Party. You think not? Think what you like. I do.